Now you're gone. Maybe it's time to come home. Come home. It's a little bit of something to me. I can finally see. Uh, back in just a second, guys, I need to grab some fresh plates. You're gone. Maybe it's time to come home. Come home. G'day, guys. Hello. Hi, Jason. I'm doing great. Hey, Jaden. Sorry, I just dashed off to grab some uh, plates. Some plates. And now I'm just trying to find a clock. Should be over here. Gotcha. All right, got all the things. There we go. Just a little bit of dust on my paint today. Get that sorted. Just like this. Clean paint palette. That's what we're after. <laughs> Thanks, Jade. Hello Victoria, hello Cobb, welcome back, I'm back, you guys are back, everything's fantastic, um, and Cheryl, hello, make a word filter list, is that a thing, you are learning far more about TikTok than me Cheryl, but absolutely, I will, 100%. Um, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, welcome. You make great Philly cheese sandwiches. All right, guys. Back to this painting. It's dry from yesterday. We're not gonna get too wild with it. We're gonna add. <laughs> that would be a huge help. Um, okay, I feel that. I feel that. Let me see if um, I think that's comment. Oh, it's I can leave a comment. That's exciting. Sorry about my hair too, guys. I just washed it this morning and it's pretty boofy. Um, support nonprofit pause live. Mirror your video. Um, settings. Comment settings. Filter comments is on. Um, do, do, do. Um, this can include spam and comments. That it, okay, so apparently there's already a uh, filter on. Oh, I see. Okay, so you can block keywords, but I have to do it. I can't. It only lets me do it. It's got a little list there. Um, <clears throat> but I will put some in there and we'll get that sorted. Do you usually put products in your hair? Uh, no. I mean, sometimes. But usually I just let it get a little wet and just be a little bit of a mess. Um, and it sort of just hangs around doing that. Sometimes when you put products in, can spike your eyes a little bit because it flicks in. Uh, yes, Cheryl, I can. I just found where it is in the settings and I will. I promise you that. I will sort you out and we'll have all the words that are appropriate. If you want to send me, please send me some words that you're usually because I don't often see all that goes on. So please. A little list would be lovely, but I'll take some stabs. 
<laughs> um, you, oh, thanks guys, appreciate that. Um, this picture here is, I mean, I think you all already know, this is the three kids at the mount. We're just adding layers to it. Um, pale layers this time. So we're talking toning greys with a yellowish tone. We're talking pastel arctic blues, which is the coolest name for a paint I've ever heard. I'm going to add some pacific blues. Not specific, pacific. A little bit of that. Some pastel coral. Again, I love the names that give these paints. Pastel coral. Um. <laughs> Your curls become a tangled mess. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I guess I'm sort of lucky that my hair is fairly straight. So, in terms of issues, I don't have that many. I just sort of hang down and do its thing. But uh, yeah, if you had curls, curls would be all on. Yes, back to this painting, guys. Indeed. So I'm not here all day like yesterday. I'm gonna be here till about, I think till about, oh, definitely till after lunch, but we'll see how we get on. So with this one here, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, smaller brush, little bits of detail. We do need some white, I've got some tinting white here. Here we go. Check some of this on. There we go. Perfect. There is our paint palette, and here is our paintbrush. Um. <laughs> yeah, live indeed. That's what this is. Um, can I ask a question about art? Of course you can. That's why I'm here. Well. That can be one of the reasons I'm here. Um, we'll be back. Cheryl, it's been a pleasure. I will see you. Um, give me one second. Right. We're on porcelain. We've got our paint. Got some gloss gel. That's what this is here. So that big chunk there in the middle, that's not white. That's gloss gel. That keeps the uh, paint nice and wet looking. Wet and shiny. Um, my birthday. Yes. Woohoo. All about me. No, nah, okay. Uh, so my birthday is in 24 hours. I turn 30 in 24 hours. So that's exciting. Yeah. With some ribs on it too, which is pretty exciting. So it's actually really good for wiping off the brush because the ribs catch the paint. It's handy. Um, and I t yeah, so turning 30 on the 12th of January, New Zealand time. If you're not from New Zealand, if you're from overseas, then basically, I think I was born at 11.30 p.m. though, guys. So I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, we've got like, 36 hours. There we go. Which is pretty fun. I'm a Capricorn. I am indeed. There we go. There, here we go. And yeah, you know the people. Living for today. <laughs> um, you'd make a great fireman. Um, I don't like fire so much. I'm more of a cold person. I like the cold guys. I like winter. I like snow. I like hail. Living for today. Yeah. You may say that I'm a dreamer. I'm not the only one. 
some sweet day, yeah, you'll find us, and the world will live as one. I think that's a lyric. Boom, 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 boom. Happy birthday. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it to no end. If you haven't heard, I'm turning 30. It's an exciting time to be alive. And I'm going to be 30 in 36 hours, almost to the dot. So that's wild. Do I have birds? <laughs> Jason, that is my absolute favorite of all the emojis, the galaxy. So I don't know if you've heard me say that before or if you know that, but uh, I love the galaxy. <laughs> in fact, I was yarning last night, Jason, you were here about my secret, my secret guilty pleasure after these lives or on a day that's all about me, my secret guilty pleasure is to sit down in front of the TV, sometimes with a gourmet ice cream or sometimes just with a glass of straight rum, rum on the rocks. And what I'll do is I'll turn on YouTube, Chromecaster, because we're fancy like that, and I'll watch the um, BDD, Three Blues, One Brown, or I'll watch, um, what's the other one? I'll watch uh, basically any science video where they're talking about astrophysics. That does it for me, late at night. I really, really enjoy that. Some astrophysics at 1 a.m. in the morning. And so, Jason, if you knew that, and that's why you're flicking off galaxies, then, that's fantastic. And if you didn't, now you do. Happy coincidence. Hello from Colombia. Welcome. If it's your first time joining this stream, guys, I'm here painting in New Zealand. My name's Seb. This is a lovely portrait of three children that we're working on. It's one of many. We chop and change the portraits a lot. I'm very inconsistent. Um, we've got, how many portraits on the go at the moment, guys? About five or six. And uh, they're slowly coming together piece by piece. How many paintings did I do yesterday? JD. Um, <laughs> JD, I am uh, working on I didn't finish any yesterday, but I got pretty far along with a few of them. Two of them are pretty much finished, but I don't send these things off straight away, guys. I keep them sitting here for a while. So when I say keep them sitting here, I'll put it in the studio, I'll set it up against the wall, push the painting up against the wall, leave it there, and let it sit there for a couple of days, and you'll look at it from across the room, over and over again. And... After about 48 hours, you'll either get to the point where you think to yourself, it's perfect. I like it just the way it is. I can't add anything else to this painting with more paint. When it hits that stage, you're golden, but sometimes you'll leave it there and you'll suddenly have the thought, I can do more here. I need more yellows, I need more blues, I need more reds, whatever it might be. You'll have a little epiphany while it's uh, sitting there in the corner of the room. Um, also guys, if it is your first time here, huge shout out to the most amazing people who look after me in all the most amazing ways. We're talking about Cheryl, we're talking about Victoria, we're talking about Lucy, we're talking about MJ, um, we're talking about, yeah, all the amazing moderators that don't just look after me, but look after all of us. And that's really special. Love your work, Jason. Have you ever finished a painting and loved it? Um, and then a few days later, I missed that. And then a few days later, didn't. Yes, that happens. That's natural. And yes, those are birds outside. So sometimes you'll make a painting. You'll love the result. But when you come back to it, you'll see it from a different angle. In a new light that makes you feel differently about it. And that's okay. 
That's why you leave it in the corner of the studio for a while. That's why you build those feelings up about it. That's why you don't sporadically go, right, it's done, send it off. You let yourself slowly come to grips with where you think the artwork is. That's the key. Um, favorite part of living in New Zealand? Um, I love how small it is. What do you do with the painting? Um, a lot of these paintings are commissions, so they leave the workshop, but only after they get that stamp of approval that I wish they'd stay. Um, and now I'm living in, in and in New Zealand. I love New Zealand. The people are great. I love a small island, guys. Um, everything's nearby. I liked America because, I mean, the driving was fun. You'd jump in a van and you could just literally drive for 48 hours across states. And I liked that. Country radio stations left, right and centre. Endless straight road in front of you, night and day. Travelling off into the sunset, just like the movies. Fantastic. But uh, there's a lot to be loved about New Zealand in that everywhere's nearby. The roads, though, can be tough because if you're in America, you're used to driving on those big, long, straight roads, and you come to New Zealand, and our roads wind, and they turn, and they drag, and they do this, and they do that, and you can get leveled on them if you're used to driving on the straight roads. If you do 14 hours on straight roads, you can only do about seven on New Zealand's winding roads. How do we inquire about a commission? Is that John? John, there's a bunch of ways to inquire about a commission. Um, any way to get in touch with me is a good way. If you go into my bio, there is links to Instagram where you can DM me. There is also uh, links to the website and there's a contact me form you can fill out if you're that way inclined or an email if you're old school. Any way those forms work. If you've already got in touch with me, um, I am sorry, I'm working my way through the inbox. I haven't forgotten about you. I have technically been ignoring you, but I'm trying to catch up, I swear. But um, yes, email, Instagram, um, or the contact me page, all fantastic ways. Um, and if you wanna see more art coming together, there's also the YouTube there. So you can get like a feel of how I paint. Um, the style is messy, guys. It's really messy. Um, up close, the paint's raw, it's primal, it's all over the show. It looks like a, a, yeah, a wild, primal, raw stir-up with colour and brush strokes. And then when you stand back, you should be able to see um, a picture come into form. So that battle between the um, realism of a painting and then the abstraction of raw creativity and fun with a paintbrush. We want those two things to collide and come to a sort of agreement somewhere in the middle. Um, sort of like when you come close, it feels like every brush strokes doing its own little wild thing in its own little wild world. But when you stand back, you realize all those little brush strokes are in this weird form of harmony, working together for the same big purpose. Um, reminds me of Snooki. I remember Snooki. Wasn't she on Geordie Shore? I never watched the show, but South Park did a bit on her. And uh, my friends used to quote it. <laughs> um, I love New Zealand. That's good. It's good. New Zealand's a good place. It's a good place. Um, and I think the fact that we're a small island nation is fun as well. I think islands are just, are just fun. Not by definition, but I think there's more likelihood that an island would be fun. Look at Hawaii, look at Rarotonga. These are fun places. I haven't been to Hawaii, and it's a, so I can't say that, but I do love Rarotonga, I went there with my best friend, and we had a ball of a time, an absolute ball of a time. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, and I'm sending you the most wholesome platonic love back from New Zealand, of course. 
Of course, of course, of course. Alright, there we go. We're just going to add, slowly add detail to these faces. The temptation is to keep on attacking the face. Don't let that happen, guys. Slowly build it up, layer by layer. Let the face come into shape at the same pace of the rest of the artwork. Don't try and strangle the process in certain places. Let the whole thing just flow together. <coughs> Sounds cheesy. Well, you know what? It might be the case that art's just a cheesy process. So, love it for what it is. I love the vibrancy of the colours. What's the cheapest painting I do? Uh, the cheapest paintings are the smallest paintings. And if you go small and abstract, that's the best way to keep the cost down low. Because we can do abstract in a single layer. We don't need to build up multiple layers. You can capture all that primal vibrancy in the few colours that you can land in the period of an hour. Um, a good example of abstract within an hour is probably the dog over there. Now the dog isn't going to stay like that. It's going to get another seven coats on it to slowly build this intricate detail and depth into it. But if we just attacked it with thick paint off the bat, that dog could be finished in an hour. Um, I'll just turn the camera towards it. That dog. It's got the thing in front of it. There we go. That dog. Loving the dog. Loving everything about it. Sorry, guys. Just put you down gently again. There you go. Um, tips for true beginners. Would love to try, but don't know how to even start. Jenny. First off, that's entirely okay. What's that ridiculous saying? Not ridiculous saying, but that common saying you hear. That's actually, it rings really, really true. Um, before you're good at something, before you're really, really good at something, you're, everyone starts as bad at it. You don't just start good at it. We all start at all different stages. So, first off, don't get caught up on thinking, how am I going to get good? Um, that's the wrong that's the wrong thing to start on. Um, a kid never looks at a soccer ball or a rugby ball and thinks to themselves, how are you going to get good at the sport? They look at it and think, how can I have fun? Um, I mean, in broad strokes. But look at your art in the same way. Look at the canvas. If you've got a canvas in front of you, fantastic. If you've got a book, graphite pen, charcoal, um, digital tablet, whatever you've got, look at it and think to yourself, not how can I get better, what exercises can I do? Think of how I can have fun. Because if you're going to start your art journey, chances are your life's already full of a bunch of other activities. And those activities could be things like, um, uh, what's some good examples? Uh, you could just be living life. You could be a mother. You could have children at home. You know, things get busy. And so if you're going to add art on the top of already a busy life, um, then it's going to take more energy out of it. And we don't have endless energy, guys. There's a finite amount of energy that we've got in our lives. So, 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 first key part of doing art or getting involved in art is to figure out how art's going to become something that relaxes you, something that recharges you for the rest of your life. If it's another drainer that's taking energy away from your day, you've got enough of those. Art needs to be the thing that recharges you and kickstarts you for the rest of your day. I can't tell you how to make art do that. You need to figure out how to make your art do that for you. Maybe it's music you play, maybe you dance while you do it, maybe you do it with your kids, maybe you do it with your friends, maybe it's something you do with your girls where you do like a wine and art night, where you all sit around and have uh, wine. All these things are ways you can do it. So strange as wearing a shirt. Uh, yes, so you'll notice there's a couple of things in the studio, guys. First off, I like to wear nicer clothes, and the second off, I like to have no drop cloth. I do neither of those things. That's because I do quite abstract art. This is a little bit wild, this is a little bit all over the show. And because of that, I like to make sure I take paint. Let me give an example from the tube straight to the plate in this case, and then straight to the canvas with nothing in between. 
Um, paint shouldn't be on the floor, shouldn't be on you, like it is right here. Um, it wants to go from A to B to C. Now, because abstract art can get messy, we want to make sure that even though we're doing a wild job on the canvas, every brushstroke is intentional. It's like the order in chaos, the, the, that's what we called it the other day, the craft of chaos. We can't get ourselves caught up in thinking if we just throw paint everywhere on the floor and on ourselves, we're gonna create this masterpiece in front of us. You're spreading the chaos. Control it, channel it, and hit the canvas. And so that way when you buy abstract art or you get involved with a piece of artwork, when you see it and you see these wild brush strokes detached and disjointed in different colors and different ways of approaching it, you know that every single one was 100% intentional. And that's, a, uh, that's meaningful, that's helpful. Um, <laughs> yeah. The shirt was a birthday present, so. It's, I'm probably a little chunkier than I was when I first got it, but you can't throw away birthday presents, so you gotta love them. Um, there's something special about someone getting you something. I reckon. Um, do people ask me to paint things privately, JD? Yes. Yes, indeed. And I do. So, uh, not often. Usually people want to have it on TikTok because it gets downloaded off here and uploaded to YouTube. And so you've got this permanent little catalog of your piece coming together but look I absolutely would and do do private pictures because sometimes there's something about a piece that you actually just want to yourself and I get that but um, at the same time it's sort of fun even if it's about to be your piece to involve everyone in the process for everyone to see it to be a part of it to enjoy it with you so let me share it because aside from having the art on your wall in a way that you can enjoy it for all the future, imagine if the creation of that art actually did some good and helped out some people around the world, you know. Who knows, maybe hanging out with a strange Kiwi yarning about abstract art, impressionist art, um, in New Zealand was exactly what someone needed for their day. Who knows? Oh, sorry. Seth, just wanted to wish you a warm welcome for your triumphant 30s for tomorrow. Thanks, Seth. Appreciate that. Um, if you didn't hear, guys, I'm turning 30 tomorrow. I've been appreciating all the birthday wishes. You're all incredible. Um, <laughs> I, I, was, I The birthday wishes started, actually, at the start of the week, which I thought was really sweet. Um, but, yeah, tomorrow's the big day. And it's going to be relaxed and yeah, I'm excited. I've got some friends coming up from the South Island. Um, we're going to be hanging around at the lake, relaxing. Um, and yeah. So I'll probably post a few pictures of it on the story, on Instagram, just because... I don't want to just ghost all you guys for 24 hours. And if I get the chance, I'd love to go live as well, but it'll depend on the Wi-Fi connection. That's what we'll be playing with. So if the Wi-Fi is good, then I'll go live. But if it's not, you'll just have to settle for some story picks. Um, and obviously, thank you to everyone who has been a part of art and painting and my personal story in my 20s. <laughs> you're all the best um, yeah it's been really special and yeah hopefully you stick around once I'm 30 but I'll totally understand if you're like nah novelty's worn off now he's 30 <laughs> who knows I think Vincent van Gogh van Gogh only started painting when he was 29 he painted non-stop for 10 years Let's keep the comments respectful. Thanks, Victoria. Appreciate you.
Um, yeah, maybe it's the, uh, who knows, perhaps like TikTok does this little thing where it makes you, uh, gets rid of your wrinkles, because I've got some good old crow's feet, guys. I've spent too much time of my life laughing and smiling. I need to start finding things less funny and wholesome and like smile less to stop my face from getting too wrinkly. Look at that. I can see it right there right now. Look, hair just fell out. There we go. It's all downhill from here, guys. Um, conduction headphones. Are they like the aftershocks? I think I've got some of those. Are they like touch your hair? I love those ones. I love those because you can put them on and talk to people in the room. Exposed. So you can actually hear clearly what they're saying. So you can be involved in a room while also listening to your music. So that's wholesome. That's very wholesome. Um, I've started my skincare routine as of 32. JD, that is phenomenal. Good for you. Get into it. And what is your skin routine? Uh, first off, is it working? If it is, you should share it. Because if you've got something worth sharing, sharing's caring. So, you should share. Um... Any advice on the <laughs> um, any advice on the gun show? Jesus Christ! Um, eat healthy food. I think we all get caught up too much on all the fitness apps and things like that. And they're not really a fit. I mean, if you do a fitness app, good for you. But nothing beats a good healthy meal. Some eggs, some cucumber. That's where I'm lucky, actually. Me and Shelby have quite similar tastes in food. So, my basic eating habits actually coincide quite nicely. It's helpful. Um, you should... <laughs> Cheers, guys. Hey, thanks, Jason. Appreciate you. You're an absolute champion. Um, now, like I say, guys, I'm going to disappear because I need to run across to Rotorua later on because I need to go see a good friend of mine. He's in his 70s. His name's Dale, great guy. And he makes frames. Now, I've actually, on a few of these pictures, they've got a bit thick, and so I can't do my typical framing method. And that's where I go to my guy, Dale, and I give him these interesting problems, and he does the most fantastic frames. I swear to God, I don't, you might be a framer, you might know framers, whoever, Trust me, this guy's the best in the world. I love this guy. He is the best in the world. And <clears throat> I bring him these pictures, these interesting things, and he makes the most amazing frames for me. Now, it's funny, because it sounds like I'm giving him a plug. You won't find this guy. <laughs> he doesn't exist. He's not, he's not in the phone book. He's not on Google. He's got himself a burner phone, and he doesn't have numbers in the phone. He's got a phone book beside the phone where he uh, writes the numbers in It'll come up as a blank, I come up as a blank number on his phone. Um, and he figures out who I am when we're talking. Um, yeah, he's got all the numbers. A bird of phone with no one's, uh, yeah, with no one's details. This guy's a champion. And he makes the best frames in the world. Why? Because he's been doing it since he was born. Um, not frames, sorts of materials. He had the most amazing uncles, father, grandfather. Who taught him everything you could possibly know about materials? Making amazing, just amazing creations. Everything that leaves his workshop is a work of art, even if he's working with steel, joint, whatever he's making, it's a work of art. So, um, yeah, if you, if you end up with a piece of art from me and I say the frame is made by Dale, it's great you bought the art, but <laughs> the real art will be in that frame, trust me. Um, yeah, Dale's a champion. So, The only problem is, he's getting on a bit in years, and because of that, the cold stops his hands from working as well. So he's got to pick his day really carefully to get into his workshop and, uh, and work. And so there's a patience factor with a Dale frame, but 
it is worth it every time. You'll be like, I don't know why Steph's so excited about the frame, but trust me, if you see one of these frames, it will literally take your breath away. It is phenomenal. How many frames are you ordering from Dale? Um, I've got three, and because it's a last minute thing, and the, uh, the pictures, yeah, I couldn't do my usual method. I said to him, look mate, please, 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 can you turn them around in 10 days? And he says, I can do it. And um, yeah, so abs absolute legend. <laughs> and, um, and that's gonna be really cool because these pictures were gonna be fantastic. They were gonna be amazing. But now that Dale's gonna make the frames for them, that's gonna send them to a whole new level. Like, the art was on the canvas, and now it's actually around it too, so that's special. Um, sorry if I'm missing anyone's uh, comments. I'm trying to keep up, but I do get caught on a yarn. And speaking of a yarn, I got told off last night. Um, so I got given something to improve on, where I was told that um, I have this terrible habit of filling silences with singing or conversation. I don't just do it in this chat, I do it in real life. And uh, anyway, I need to improve on that. So I need to create pauses and silences to give the other person a chance to speak and so I can listen. I'm actually a really good listener. I'm a really good listener and a really good talker, but where I struggle and where I fall down is I can't do an exchange very well. So my ability to go, my turn to talk, pause, listen, pause, listen, talk, pause, listen, I struggle with that. I need to go off on a rant, stop, and now I'm ready to listen. You know, and it's a, yeah. Yeah, I think you understand what I'm saying. That doesn't mean that I like sit there and tolerate someone else talking. I swear, I'm a really good listener. But, uh, but yeah. Um, I think I'm following. It's good to be both, yes indeed. But that's what I'm saying. So my feedback was I need to work on the back and forth of talking, the push and pull. So at the moment, good talker, good listener, but can't do the exchange very well. So we will work on that. It's good to have an area to work on. It's good to have an area. See, I did it right then. Paused, didn't like the silence, started singing. This is a real thing. Now I've told you it, you're gonna spot it often. Um, also guys, if you are enjoying the art, bio, Instagram, TikTok, wait, you're on TikTok, congratulations. Um, Instagram, YouTube, and website, all there. For you guys to do whatever you want with. That's fantastic. Um, some of you have contacted me on Instagram, a lot of you have, and I'm behind, but I wanted to go live now because I'm on a time schedule, I have to get to Rotorua, so I, uh, yeah. I'm not ignoring you. I swear to God, I will be in touch. Um, some people have asked some really nice questions, said some amazing things, and I will be in touch. I swear. Um, <laughs> well, that's wholesome. I hope I hope it's good having me on your FYP. You know, when I first jumped on TikTok. I didn't understand what FYP was. Everyone was saying FYP this, FYP that, and I was so confused. And even after I Googled it for your page, I still don't fully understand FYP. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you feel like such a boomer, sorry. Uh, he's doing art and y'all being, I missed that, sorry guys. Um, I, sorry, no Twitter. Um, Lucy has banned me from Twitter. Lucy's one of our moderators, and she says no. So sorry, guys. But um, I feel like such a boomer when I go to a keyboard, I'm gonna type into it, um, what is FYP? <laughs> and I'm trying to figure it out, and I still don't know. I still don't know. It's like, it's like it's so obvious that you're expected to know, and that's where I get caught out. Um, What's the, uh, I'm catching a few things. 
Um, I'm wondering if that was intentional or unfinished. Uh, this work's not finished. This is, this is a work in progress. Um, and I'll do this classic thing. Wherever I put the canvas, I want to reach to other areas. So I put it in this space, because I should be working through here. But I just keep wanting to reach up here and work up here on the sky, which I've actually put out of reach. And if I lower it down, guys, the reality is going to be, I lower it down to work on the sky, you know what I'm going to do? I'm literally going to start wanting to work down low again. So, basically there's no pleasing me. So, that's the, that's the reality. I, yeah, I did backwards and forwards for a while and then realised, wait a minute, Taylor Swift Eureka moment, it's me, I'm the problem. <laughs> Not saying Taylor's the problem, I'm saying that she sang the song about it. I'm sure she's lovely. Do you ever get burnt out on art? How do you deal with that if you do? So Jason, um, burnouts are a real thing. You'll get burnouts on art, you'll get burnouts on cars, you'll get burnouts on whatever you do in your career. If you work as a plumber, as an electrician, whatever, you will get burnout. It's a real thing and it will not get easier. That sounds negative. It's not meant to be negative. I mean that no matter how good you get at plumbing, being an electrician, driving cars, um, being a joiner, uh, doing accounting, you will still get burnout. Um, I'll get Oster Wild. Doreen Gray, yes, I've read that book. Great book, huge fan. Studied it. Sorry, so you will still get burnout. Um, what you can do, yourself for burnout. And when I say prepare yourself for burnout, figure out how you get yourself in the mood to pursue what you love. If you love accounting, if you love mathematics, if you love science, geology, if you love cycling, whatever it may be, uh, figure out what gets you in the mood to love that, what reminds you of the why you were doing it. Um, so for me personally, these are my things, they may not work for you, I love music. A good playlist gets me in the mood. I love um, uh, a bit of exercise and a bit of healthy eating to make sure I've actually got, you know, I'm fueling my car with the right stuff to actually drive. Um, I like all these things. Um, sometimes I just need to detach completely, sit in front of the TV, have some ice cream, watch some YouTube videos, and just completely relax and unwind. Trading cards. I'm a geek. I like playing some trading cards. I like Magic the Gathering. Sue me. Um, and this stuff helps me unwind. I detach, pull back to fire off stronger, like pulling an arrow on a bow. Some people find things like cycling, hiking therapeutic. They find um, going to watch a show, going to the movies. Figure out what your thing is. Not everything will work for you. Some things will work. And once you know that, you'll feel what it feels like when a burnout comes on and you'll know, okay, before this gets bad, I'm gonna do A, B, and C to make sure I can flick back and come back stronger to what I love. That's what I reckon. Um, I hope that's helpful. Again, the things that help me may not be the things that help you. You need to look at yourself, become a little bit self-aware, and know what helps you the most. Um, so, I'm sorry while I was on that rant, that, uh, but if I miss anyone's comments, but uh, yeah, yes, it's an ongoing cycle. So you'll figure out what you love, say it's cycling. Cycling, burned out from cycling, recover from cycling. Cycling, burned out from cycling, recover from cycling. But you don't need to go on an aggressive loop. You can actually go, right, let's have balance. It's all about balance. Get that in your life and you'll be away, guys. Um, yeah, so for me, I'll do about 40 to 50 hours a week painting, and then I'll try to actually uh, spread that out into a five to six hour sets. Um, there's a lot of prep with the stuff as well. There's framing, there's shipping, invoicing, there's you know all the sort of jazz in the background. Um, but you've got to make sure that you figure out, right, when am I gonna do me? Um, and when I say do me, I mean cater for yourself as a homo sapiens outside of your hobbies. Now, so, so lucky if you can combine what you love, in this case, 
artwork with, you can combine your hobby with your work and combine them both, but uh, it's not always the case. So if you've got that separation there, that's okay. Then it becomes even more important to ask the question. But if they are connected, be careful because you don't want to fall into the trap of thinking that's the only thing you should be doing. Even if your work and hobby are interconnected and what you love provides you with income, still you have to think. How is my health, physically, mentally? How are my relationships with my family, with my loved ones? How are my friends? Am I reaching out to them? Am I talking to them? And that's not just for you. If your cup's full, you need to start pouring. You can't just think, wow, I'm happy, everything's going well. I'm gonna keep shooting from the hip. If you're doing well and you're happy and you're aware of that, it's time to reach out to your friends because you know maybe they're not doing so well. And maybe you can do something special for them with all that energy you've got. So keep that in mind. And if you didn't come here for a lecture on that, then uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. So advice, thanks Derek, appreciate that. Is that Derek? That's Derek. Did you end up finishing Friday's castle painting? No, no, that's over in the corner here. It's still drying. Um, I'm gonna move to a smaller brush and a few more transparent layers, but it's in a really good place. It's in a fun place, it's in a good place. The frame for that one's sorted, or at least it will be unless we go too thick with the textures. And yeah, no, I'm in, I'm in love with that one. It's a great landscape, it's all the right things. Um, can see the castle one. Um, it was on the last stream, so you'll have to be a little bit patient because I'll be in good Wi-Fi today, and I'm going to upload the episodes to YouTube, um, so you'll be able to find those from there. But for now, for now, you'll have to be patient. Patient. Um, same story here, guys started adding those paler colours in, we're still adding those paler colours in, little bits at a time. This is quite a big canvas, so we've got to make sure that we give attention to all the corners and all the negative space areas as much as we do to the things like the faces, the shirts, the pants, the hands, the legs. So you may notice I actually ignore legs and arms and faces a little bit in preference for focusing on these outlines, on these borders, on these negative space areas, because I believe when you look at a painting, you start by looking at the focal point, which is the middle, which is the faces, which is the characters in it, but after that, your eyes wander to see what else they can find. And if it's not compelling, such that it's not intricate or special or captivating enough that you actually wander off completely, it's a shame. It needs to be interesting enough to pull you back to the focal point and let you enjoy the art some more. So that's why we spend a lot of time on the background. That's where we're at. I hope that helps. Um, especially, especially in a landscape. If you're doing landscape pictures, the whole thing needs detail on it much, much more than uh, if you were doing, say, um, a portrait. Portrait, you can be forgiven slightly if the art, the uh, around the head lacks a bit of depth. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. But um, with, with a landscape, you can't be forgiven for it. The whole thing needs equal detail. Um, wow, I see the difference. I'm a painting, this is good. This is good. Um, and Kevin, you're a champion. I appreciate the cowboy hat. <laughs> um, I'm sure the art looks great. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Um, if you do like the art, guys, or if you want to connect more, or if you want to see other stuff, the bio is there. In the bio, you'll find Instagram. In the bio, you'll find the website. Instagram is the best, along with YouTube. They're both great. Um, you can get little replay 
parties and all that sort of fun stuff. That's wholesome. Thanks, Kevin. Some donuts. Um, no problem. Just trying to keep these lives. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Victoria. You're an absolute champion. You know that. I went off on a rant yesterday on how much of a champion you were. Couldn't help myself. Fold this up a wee bit. And when I walk through the door, it was clear to see you're the one that I want and I do be. You're a rock star. A dee da doona 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 dum dum. Pardon me. I will pop out shortly, guys, and disappear on you because I'm going to go grab a coffee. And someone suggested that I don't just run off, I can pause the live. But honestly, I think it's more fun just to leave it here with the uh, sound of nature and the picture here and all the rest of it. So that's right, man. No, but I have this theory. That's good. It's good to have a theory. A hypothesis. Is that what you call it? What do you call it? Proud of you. Have a theory. Live that life. When we were in psychology class at university, we'd come with hypotheses. Um, how many coffees do you drink a day, Pink Prospector? I drink about... Depends on the day. I've had one today. Depending on the day, though. I'm probably more like a Winston Churchill. Is it Winston Churchill or was it Abe Lincoln? One of the prim uh, one of the prisons in the United States used to drink like six coffees a day. I'll do, I'll do six a day some days, but uh, usually I'm on about a three or four buzz. Um, yeah. So I'm addicted, definitely. Um, luckily it's a harmless addiction, to a degree. How do you decide what colours to use? Um, so, first off, there's definitely a process when I look at the canvas and think, right, I want magenta, I want pale blues, I want yellows, I want these things. Um, but then once I've actually chosen it from the test tubes and put test tubes <laughs> from the tubes and put it on the plate here, once I've done that, it's largely decided for me. I'm just putting the colours on where I spot them. So that's a big, big part. Um, when, 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 when I'm choosing those colours. I think there's an element of control you have where you're trying to control the artwork to be a certain thing. And there's also an element of uh, wonder, uh, wondering, uh, where you're lost, where you're just trying to... Has anyone famous asked you to draw something for them? Um, yes. Every now and again. Um, occasionally. That's what the, uh, there was that lady with the horse, which was Maya, who had a spinal cord injury and ended up recovering and becoming an amazing show jumper again. So that was good for her. Did a picture for her. Who else have I painted for? I forget. I forget. Usually, people just want to have the art, but not make a big deal about it sometimes. They have a space in their house, they think it'll look beautiful, and well, they want to do something special for their family or their loved one, and yeah, that's why I'm here. Um, you'll be in New Zealand next month, Lindsay, that's exciting. Welcome to New Zealand in a month's time, good to have you. Enjoy the coffee, we do great coffee over here. Um, Enjoy the tramps and the hikes. New Zealand's got a huge concentration of tramps and hikes. Um, and they're all very amazing, so that's a real treat. Uh, did I miss a comment there? Um, we have no control. <laughs> uh, a little bit. Uh, I, will pu I will put up some uh, keywords, uh, Victoria. I'm sorry. that I need to be more on top of these things and understand the stuff more. But I think... I think the problem is, I sort of just shoot from the hip, guys, and we do pretty well here, though. This is pretty fun, right? This is good. Um, enjoy the culture, girl. Yes, indeed. Um, North Island's got the 
uh, most concentration of activities. So it's easy to find things within an hour of each other. And South Island has the most amazing scenery. So if you want scenery, you're talking South Island. Um, and if you want tourist attractions and stuff like that, you're probably talking North Island. But look, both islands are amazing. There's a ferry that goes between the two of them. They're both great. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic, Victoria. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, that's fantastic, Victoria. I appreciate that. Mm, a little bit of dust in my throat. Um, you bet. Oh, thanks, JD. Yeah. Well, look, at the end of the day, I've been really lucky because as I've been painting and doing the stuff, amazing people reach out. I, the first, one of the uh, first people who reached out once the website was up was Claire. And so I did so this little rejig on the website and I changed a few things and I slapped it up and Claire reached out and she's like, hey, I'm an English major. Your spelling here is pretty shocking. Can I sort it? And I said, you would be the most incredible person to do so. And she did. And uh, yeah, so huge props to Claire. That was fantastic. And then other people have reached out when the sound's not working or when certain things are playing up, or when the lighting's wrong, and they give me hints, tips, and all sorts of stuff. So huge thank you to all of you because some of you do some incredible stuff. Um, do I have any sponsors yet? Jeepers creepers. Um, I've had some people reach out and they wanted me to plug things on the stream to try and sell you guys stuff. <laughs> um, but the uh, thing is, look, they were good people. They were great people, but I didn't fully believe in what they were selling. Um, yeah, so I didn't want to like do this wholesome stream with you guys and paint with you guys and show you this craft and then plug a product which I didn't really fully agree with. So, so there's been people to ask, but not just yet, guys. I sort of feel like if Victoria and Cheryl and everyone else had to put up with me plugging a product, it'd be great if we all knew that actually I really believed in the product and loved what it was and all that sort of stuff. So I'm big on that. I'm big on that. Um, <laughs> I still like that you keep the sunset still. Yes, yeah, so those colours will stay up there, but we're going to keep fleshing them out. So there's going to be more transparent tones over the top. There will be subtle elements of magenta, like you'll sort of still see around this area. Um, and that's how we add in those wild colours to create that depth underneath. And slowly, slowly build up, guys. This takes time. You can try, you can try, I test out this product clip. Ah, uh, yeah, you could. You absolutely could. Um, that's definitely something you could do. Here I am testing out this product. But uh, honestly, guys, when it comes to products, um, typically I just buy from the local art store. I buy from the local art store because it's so great that they're they're competing with online sales now. If you're buying online, do that. But if you're not buying online, go local because that guy's paying rent and he's trying to keep his shop open or she's trying to keep her shop open. And yeah, if you can afford to buy from a local art store, definitely do that. Um, if you're on a really tight budget, and I get it, some people are, that's okay. Then the best place to go is more like a New Zealand warehouse stationery or Walmart if you're in America and buy off the shelves there, wait for a sale, buy up, golden. Um, but I try and buy from the art store, when I get the chance. Um, did you finish off the painting of the guy with a funny expression on his face? That is pretty much done. I went, I've got it sitting here, like I say, in the studio, I'm looking at it, I'm making sure I feel good about it. I am feeling pretty good. Um, I may have gone a little bit too thick. Since I went too thick, I may have to get Dale to make a frame for it. But I'm still in the process of just looking and feeling it out. The box for it arrives for Shelby tomorrow. So I've got 24 hours to make my call. Matt, welcome to the stream. Matt, I hope you're looking after yourself. Um, and I think Matt, 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 I think I saw a message from a Matt come through. If that was you, Matt, uh, trust me, like I was saying earlier, not ignoring anyone. There's just a lot of messages there and I, 
try and prioritize hanging out with you guys live rather than burying myself in the Instagram inbox. But I do go there. I do try and keep up, I swear. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Ooh, yeah, a little bit, little bit of grey up in the sky there, guys. It's the right, yeah, a little bit of that. We've got to get some of these deep, darker colours in there, or it's not going to have that vibrancy. To make that magenta really pop, we need to add in some of the darker colours too. We can't just ignore them. There we go. Now we're talking. Um, if you do want to see more art, in the bio, there's all the social links there um, to the replays on YouTube, to Instagram, where you can send messages. I know you can't do that on TikTok, um, but you can connect with me on Instagram. And you can also, 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 send messages via the website or via my email um, for commissions, for artwork, for whatever. If there's a piece of artwork you like on the website, it's always good to reach out. Maybe the shipping's different. We can get an exact quote and look after you. Whatever works, of course. Thank you, I'm glad you love my shoes. These shoes are not the all birds that I usually wear, they're a different pair. But following my usual trend guys, people don't change, they are from an op shop. So, I like shopping at op shops. First off, because I like a bargain. Second off, because it supports charity. Third off, because it reuses clothes that would otherwise not get used. It ticks a bunch of boxes for me. It's renewable, you get cool clothes, it's everything. So, um, yeah, and these jeans are hand-me-downs. Hand-me-ups, actually, my little brother doesn't want them anymore, so that's where I got them from. He's like an extra foot taller than me, I'm just a little baby. Do paint different colours ever look on... Do paint colours ever look different on different canvases? Jason, yes they do, but provided you do enough layers, um, I like to get the paint into a stage where it's paint on paint and not paint on canvas. Um, I'm big on that. And so when I say that, a canvas has that little dotty texture. I like to add paint until the dotty texture's gone. So <clears throat> um, for me, it has little effect, but if you're painting on linen versus cotton, um, or, you know, a, cheaper canvases are 100% cotton, I think. What's the fancy ones made out of? I need to check the label. But, um, but if you're ordering handmade canvases, it's a little bit different. If you're painting on board, especially if the board is dry, it'll land a little bit different. If there's dust, if there's dust on the canvas, if it was triple primed, if you're going to gesso primer it yourself, all these things come into it. But uh, how much does it come into it? Imagine as much as you play League of Legends. League of Legends is probably a good example if anyone plays that. You know how you have your character with your abilities, and then you've got this weird little skill tree off the side that has like 3% to a 4% effect on the overall picture? So like you could do it if you care, but it's sort of irrelevant. Same thing goes with your with your, your choice of painting surface. It's sort of, once you start adding paint, a little bit of an irrelevance. So, focus on the actual paint itself, how you paint, enjoying it while you paint. This stuff's so much more important than uh, how's the paint gonna hit the surface you're working on. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if you missed it in the background, guys, but I'm actually a huge geek. Um, I don't play League of Legends, but my brother plays it. I used to play, but I just wasn't good enough, guys, to be honest. Like, I won't lie to you, I wasn't that great at it. I used to play Poppy in League of Legends, and I played, uh, um, and I played, who's the other character I played? I played lots of Poppy in League of Legends, and I played Fairy Dragon in Dota 1. Um, I was better at Dota 1. Once League of Legends came along, I just couldn't quite get that hang of every little bit of it. And so I played for fun, but like, <clears throat> I was a bit of a liability on the team I was playing with. So it was fun, but didn't take it much further. And then, yeah, 
No, my little brother's a bit of a champion at it. I had a friend in university who played, what's his name, Blitzcrank. And he was really good. So he would like carry me and save me while I'm playing my little computer game because he was just here. Heroes would come out of nowhere and try and kill my hero and I'd be running away. And then he'd come in there with his like um, grabby thing. I don't know what it's called. And he'd pull the other character away and save my little hero's life. And it was, it was all special. It was fun. <laughs> um, yeah, he was mean though, so that was helpful. But at the moment, I don't play any computers. I do a little bit of VR just for fun. But typically, all my time goes into painting, and I like trading card games. Because like I say, I'm a geek. Proud geek right here. Um... It's a big pro picture. It should take some t work to paint. It will, it will. So, and like I say, we're not gonna ignore the background. We're gonna build it all up equally. So a lot of times we go over the whole surface. Um, if we just focus on the kids, we could be done fast. But look, we need to do the whole thing. Build it all up equally. Have some fun. Um, where are we at? <laughs> Um, thanks guys. So, where was I at? Painting. Um, here we go. I'll show these eyes quickly guys. Give me a second here. Here we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now we're talking. It comes around there like that. That comes there like that. That comes there like that. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, yeah. So where was I at? I paint a lot. I'm a huge geek. Um, and uh, yeah. If you want to see more painting, it's on Instagram. And the website and the YouTube and things like that. All in the bio, guys. It's all in the bio. Um, well, I try to read as many of the comments as I can, but it is hard to keep up, guys. Um, because I also am behind on painting at the moment. So, there's a couple of elements here that I have to keep up with. Is the painting based on a picture? Yes, it is. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks. Happy birthday wishes. I missed the name there, but I appreciate it. Um, it's based on a picture. I haven't put the picture up for you guys. Sorry. Let me see if I've got it down here. One second. Here we go. This is it. I'll hang it up here for you so you can see it. Here we go. How's that? There we go. best I can do. <laughs> um, if you could own any piece of art, money no subject, what would it be? Um, any piece of art, money is no object. Jeepers. When you put me on the spot, the first picture that pops into my head is The Awakening Conscience, which is a pre-Raphaelite piece. Um, for no particular deep reason, but uh, we studied it a lot in university. Or it was like a subject that I focused on in a few essays and things. pre raphaelites it'll be a pre raphaelite piece of artwork, and I'd choose the Awakening Conscience. Now, sorry, there's a whole bunch of big... Uh, pre raphaelites were a group of people who started doing really perfect artwork, but on... Um, slightly unorthodox subject matter at the time. So like pictures of uh, baby Jesus in a poor home or pictures of, um, uh, um, in this case, the awakening conscience is a prostitute um, and it's just her living a regular life, but it's, um, yeah, obviously this stuff wasn't normally depicted by professional artists. And so this was way back, way back in the day. Um, and yeah, they're called the Pre-Raphaelites. They're like a little 
gang of like little vigilante artists doing crazy paintings. So, very cool. I'd probably go for one of their paintings. But look, at the end of the day, it's because I'm put on the spot. I don't really want one. I like that they exist. I like the movement they were a part of. Um, but I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. Um, did you go to a specific school? Uh, yeah, I did. I went to Tarrant Boys High School first off, and then I went to Massey University, and then I went to Otago University, and then I went to Otago Polytech for a wee bit, and then I went to Camp America for a while, and then I came back to New Zealand, and now I'm here with you guys. So that's all fun. Do you prime canvases or buy ones that are already pre-primed? So, good question. When it comes to canvases, you've got regular canvases and pre-primed. Sorry, a pre-primed canvas means I put usually a gesso onto it. A couple of layers of gesso, sometimes on two or three. And that's supposed to mean you can paint straight away. But what you might find is that on the pre-primed canvases, they don't feel so great straight off the bat. So you're like, oh, it feels better when I prime myself. That's sometimes because what can happen is they spray the gesso on, and so it doesn't have that brush effect to it. It's not too thick. It's on there, technically you've got three sprays, but it's not, yeah. It's good that it's done it, but it's always good just to cover your bum to grab your own gesso and put your own gesso on the canvas. Super important. Um, gesso is fairly cheap. Um, there's differences in the quality of gesso, but look, there's nothing wrong with buying the cheapest one that you can get your hands on. Gesso is like a primer for um, fine art. So, nothing wrong with grabbing some gesso. Um, yeah, and the student acrylic brands work fine. The cheaper stuff, cheaper gesso you can get is fine. Chuck that on there. Yes, there is a difference in quality. So if you're doing some really perfect, realistic, fantastic artwork, absolutely get the best gesso on the market. But if you're doing painting as a hobby, or you're just having some fun, or doing your thing, don't worry, get the cheapest gesso. It's like a fourth of the cost, and you're gonna get a super similar result. To the point where it's sort of like going to want, you're on a wine tasting, how there's like really fancy wines, and it's really hard to tell the difference between the fanciest wine and a reasonably okay wine, but there's like, hundreds of dollars difference. That's the same thing with gesso. The fanciest wine, the reasonably, the fanciest gesso and the reasonably okay gesso, pretty similar. So yeah, do your thing. Um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom quickly guys and I'm gonna grab a coffee. So I'm gonna disappear for a little bit. Um, uh, oh yeah, wine reference, I'm glad you like that. But careful, do not put that same thought into paint. Paint's different. So when we talk about paint, the difference between the cheapest paint and the best paint, it's linear. It goes up and up and up in a very, very clear scale. It's not like the cheapest paint works. If you're gonna paint, you can't get the cheap big bottles of paint. They just...
Sorry guys, I'm back. Um, sorry for disappearing. Uh, right, but you gotta be with me. We're gonna take a little uh, moment here because one of my best friends in the whole planet has just tried to call me on FaceTime because I think she's looking for details about tomorrow. Because she's flying up from, um, flying up from, 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 uh, the South Island. Hold on, I'm just going to grab this charger, plug this into here, get this over here. So, consider this like a, uh, like a two minute coffee break extension. So this is an old laptop here. I actually left my current laptop at, uh... oh no, bye bye moderator, bye bye, I'll see you later. Look after yourself. Uh, what flavor of coffee do you drink? So I drink, um, I typically like to have an espresso shot. So like a strong, strong coffee. Seb sitting down, unheard of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So give me a moment, I've just got to, I've got to call Ellie back, but is this laptop going to start for me? Come on, don't be like this. Why are you no play ball? This is a spare second hand laptop guys. We usually use um, my regular laptop, which is actually at Shelby's place. So she's bringing it down tonight, but, uh, <laughs> um, oh yeah, sorry. So double espresso coffee, that's my favorite. Strong, like a long black, or no, give me a short black with like a teeny bit of hot water on top, like 30 mils. Or I go for a, in this case, Makona. So this is a instant coffee. Um, and it's just, give me crazy, yeah. Victoria, I feel that. That happens to people. Um, I probably drank it so often for so long that I've built up this tolerance to it. But, uh, here we go. Hello. Now it's starting out. I built up this tolerance to it, but uh, people do get that. So if you get that, let's get the coffee. Um, do I ever draw myself? I don't. I've never drawn myself. Um, because I... Like I say, I like capturing other people. I think there's much more to capture in someone else than there is in, uh, like, yeah, I probably like to paint myself, but it's just so much fun. Um, trying to capture an essence or a likeness of someone else. I like that. Um, yeah, so sorry. In this case here, if I'm not yarning about my dream coffee, this is just a Makona bit of instant coffee. Favorite country I've visited? Um, it would be Europe, but that was more about the company I had than it was the, I like Europe. Europe's great, but tell you what, I went there with a cool travel companion and had a pretty good time. So, San Sebastian, number one. Big fan. Um, and then, I love the US. US is amazing. US is great. Um, but I think the magic of the US wears off a little bit because I've been there so much. Um, yeah, but Europe was a first time thing, so there was this novelty to it. But still, you know, just configuring at the moment, so it's at 96%. Do not turn off your computer. Here's the instructions. Come to Canada. I love Canada. I went to Kelowna in British Columbia to Big White. Had a great time up there. Um, 98%, 99%, 100%, but still loading. Um, yes, love Canada. I've never seen truckers drive faster than I saw them drive on that south road following the border. That was nuts. Um, <laughs> thanks guys, appreciate that. Um, and we will get back to the painting, but um, if you haven't heard, I've got a 30th birthday tomorrow. I'm turning 30, I'm really excited. Um, uh, and I've got some friends flying up from the South Island to see me. And they are, one of them's trying to get in touch with me. 
One of them's landing today, I'm picking it up from the airport, and the other one's landing, I think, tomorrow. Um, I want butterflies, guys. I love these people. They're coming up to see me. I mean, how special is it that you have an arbitrary date, like turning 30, and people will fly around New Zealand to come see you? So, I feel pretty chuffed, to be honest. Um, and also, yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate all of you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so the lovely birthday wishes over the course of this week has been phenomenal. Appreciate each and every one of you, obviously. And look, I was saying that I would love to go live tomorrow as well and spend a bit of the day with you guys and paint something, just something like Spyro, just off the cuff, just some fun, nothing too intense. And uh, But it'll depend on the Wi-Fi, guys, because the Wi-Fi where we're doing the birthday can be a little bit iffy. So we'll see how we get on. And you'll have to tolerate me if I'm having some champagne, if I'm drinking an Irish coffee, just let it be. <laughs> let me enjoy the birthday. Um, right, laptop started. Like I said, this is a second hand one. So it takes a bit of time. All right, Eagle Rouge. Let's have a look see here. Dun dun dun. Connected. Clicking here. Right. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Here we go. It's just loading. And now I click on this, click on this, click on that. Is that gonna bring up for me? It should do. Bada bing bang boom. Um, sheesh, I can't even have a friend respond back to me, let alone fly to me. Look, I'll tell you what, I think Prospector, you've got a bunch of friends right here with us. Um, and look, if it makes you feel any better, let me tell you a story. When I was in high school, I threw a party one time and no one came. No one came. The guest list was like 20 people strong and not one person showed up. So, at the end of the day, who cares? You'll make friends. You'll look after yourself. You'll have fun. Um, now, let's look see here. Um, and also, in today's world, there's people all over the world, guys. And so, you might have a bunch of friends who you don't see on a daily basis because they live in other countries, but you'll still have them. They'll still love you. And when you're around, they'll love to, you know, be around you. Just because you're somewhere in the world, the world's a pretty big place actually. If you're somewhere in the world and you're not surrounded by friends at this exact moment, that doesn't mean you've got no friends. That means on this particular occasion, everyone's a little bit busy, but everyone still loves you. Um, you're a fantastic individual. And you know what? There's five billion people and you've got a personality and you're a human being. Of course, some of those people think you're an incredible individual. Maybe the ones who do just haven't met you yet. Thanks guys. I'm looking forward to turning 30. I'll be changing the Instagram over to Sebastian Gower, New Zealand artist, dash 29 to Sebastian Gower, New Zealand artist, dash 29 plus one. <laughs> um, Goals for your next year. Right, I want to go live a whole bunch. I want to hang out with my friend, Hello! Hi. How are we doing? I'm good, how are you? That's good. Um, Ellie, I just missed your call. I'm very sorry. I'm in the middle of something, but I would love to hear what's up. Well, I can thank you. Ah, you're not coming? Yeah, because I caught COVID. You got COVID! Oh no, did you get flexi flights? No. That's a disaster. That is a disaster. Do you get any sort of uh, refund or anything like that on the flights? I don't know. Just kind of look at this to see if we can do this like another week. If you can get it for another week and you come on up, of course I will host you and we'll have the most amazing time. But if you can't, that sucks. I know. I'm just going to That's all good. Hey, the sentiment still stands. You're an incredible individual. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, um, yes, if you can get moved to another weekend, any weekend's fine, we'll make it work. It'll be fantastic. Okay. Yeah, but no, I'm so sorry. You're all good, girly. 
You wait. I'll, I'll make it to your 30th and make you feel super guilty about it. <laughs> All right. I better get back to what I was doing, but don't be a stranger. Perfect. All right. I want you to like fence off like four or five days to hang out with me, eh? Good. Absolutely. I wouldn't dare show up in the South Island without telling you. Come off it. You don't. No, you don't mean that. <laughs> All right. Love you too. Thank you so much. Catch ya. Terrible news, guys. Terrible, terrible news. Uh, one of my best friends and her partner have just caught COVID, so they will not be coming up, which is a huge shame, but that's all good. Um, hopefully, hopefully she can get her flights moved so she can uh, come up another time, or they might just have lost the money that they spend on the flights which would be absolutely gutting, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But she's called me to let her know she's got COVID, which is, yeah, that sucks. Nothing like a little bout of COVID. Let's be friends, I'm an artist too. That sounds fantastic. Well, you've stumbled across an art stream, which is a great place for an artist to be. I hope you get lots out of it. And everyone here who is currently here painting away, well, me and anyone who's painting at home, is happy to be your mate. Big group of mates for you. How many other friends are going? Yeah, about nine, ten-ish. Um, a few people here and there. Da da ding da 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 ding da 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 ding da boom bum ba boom Um, hopefully the weather has been amazing. Look, it's going to be okay because if the weather packs up, we can be inside doing puzzles. The is fantastic. We can go for some walks and all those sorts of things. I'd prefer the weather to be good because my partner Shelby might get cabin fever because the whole way over New Year's I kept her inside because it was raining and I would like to take her on some tramps and walks and outside on the lake and things like that. So we'll see how we go. Um, what's that song? I'm just singing. It's got, it's no song, it's just me throwing words around. So that's no? Yeah, is it a song? No, it's not. But if you want me to get a song stuck in my head, I'll start singing some Taylor Swift again. We know that works. It's me, hi. Poor old Victoria's like, no, no, please God, no. <laughs> He's going for a round two on Tay Tay. Yeah, so she's a really outdoorsy girl. So um, when you get trapped inside for a long period, she did really well. She did well, but uh, she was clearly hankering for a surf. So, is that. Now, it's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Um, also guys, if you do like the art, if you like hanging out, if you like the style, in the bio, there's all the social links. So, Instagram, and YouTube, and website, and all those fun things. Well, you're welcome to connect with me. <laughs> That's Victoria. Um, what part of New Zealand do you live in? I live in the North Island. So, the lady I was just on the Instagram uh, sorry, the Facebook Messenger with is from the South Island. It's me. 
Hi, I'm the problem, it's me. At tea time, everybody agrees. I stare directly in the sun, but never in the mirror. That'll teach you. Muted for five seconds. <laughs> It's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. I swear I'll learn some new songs. One day. One day. You're back! Welcome back. But Seb, you've listened to Taylor's old music. Absolute bangers back in the day. Yes, indeed. Like I've told you before, I love that song, You Belong With Me. Big fan and love story. Baby, just say yes. Um, yeah. You're on the phone with your boyfriend. He's upset. He's going up about something. You know what? You know what I want? Forget the piece of artwork. Take back the pre raphaelite -like period. Have it all back. What I want is I want Luke Bryan to do a cover of uh, You Belong With Me. <laughs> Make my day. Luke Bryan's silky... Amazing voice, singing some Taylor Swift covers. It's not happened yet. Why has that not been given to us? Um, I'm a Luke Bryan fan, but uh, I think it's Taylor Swift sings some absolute bangers. If I was a fan of any artist more than any other artist, if I had an absolute tippity top favourite, we're talking Kit Moore. Kit Moore is the man. Luke Bryan would eat that so oh my god. Right, Victoria? Right? This is what we're talking about. I reckon Luke Bryan would send that out of the park. Now I, the more I think about it, it's the only thing I want. <laughs> Luke Bryan singing some Taylor Swift songs. You're on the phone with your girlfriend, she's upset. She's going up about something that you said, but she doesn't get your... You have to, you have to modify the lyrics. So rather than saying girlfriend, you'd be like boyfriend. Going up about something that you said, but he doesn't get your humour like I do. And like she said, she wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts. Yeah, you can figure out some lyrics. It'll be fine. Better to be fine. Luke Combs. Um, I want a few of his songs. Is that the guy who sings When It Rains It Pours? Sunday morning, man, she woke up but mad. Because I do like that guy. But Kip Moore is my guy. Kip Moore is my guy. Go, go, go. I'll keep trying to go, go, go. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Is all good. Um, what style is this painting called? Sing some 90s country. <laughs> um, I forget what's 90s and what's 2000s. All the years sort of blend together a wee bit. But um, this type of artwork too, this is Impressionism. Probably is the best way to describe it. And when we say Impressionism, think halfway between the paint being raw, primal, messy, brushstroke paint and a realistic picture trying to depict, depict a photograph. Combine those two Impressionism somewhere in the middle. Um, you'd be like, that's not quite correct. And like, from a visual standpoint, that's pretty close. Um, Van Gogh was an impressionist painter. These are, I mean, basically, in the rawest of sense, we're trying to create an impression of the picture. So, without worrying about the exactness of every single line, as long as we can capture the impression of the characters, or the impression of the scene, then we've nailed it. That's what we're after. 
That is what we're trying to do here. Why would you be so cruel to me? Don't want to hear another word about it. About it. Why would you be so cruel to me? Need some George Strait and Vince Gill as well. Yeah, CC. And you know who's an also a great band? Brooks and Dunn. Um, they're fantastic. Play something country. What's that song? I saw the light, I've been baptized by the fire in your touch and the flame in your eyes. Brand new man, that's the one. I'm born to love again, I'm a brand new man. Something like that. Something like that. Nothing like that. But you get the idea. You get the idea. Oh, thank you for a bit. Johnny! Birthday cake! <laughs> well found! Um, has there ever been a commission I've struggled with? Um, you don't struggle with a commission as much as you struggle with stages in a commission. There's points where you can go into little ruts and get caught out and you need to whip yourself out of them. Um, but thank you very much for the birthday wishes, Johnny. Appreciate you to no end. Favourite is Neon Moon. That's a good one. It's more of a chill vibe. I like it. Speaking of moons, Kip Moore's song, Love You to the Moon. That's one of my favourite songs on the face of this planet. With his husky voice, like he's ripped down too many cigarettes. You know, that, that uh, when he's singing about, he's like, Johnny is a spaceman on a lunar frontier. It's, oh, everything about it's perfect. He's on the news and all. Picture coming in clear. Oh, it's just the best. Love you to the moon. Basically, it's a country song about a uh, dude who's actually an astronaut. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's perfect. I love you to the moon. Take you in right out of this world. Yeah, I love you to the moon. You're always going to be my girl. It don't matter where I'm at. Stuck to you like a story act. I'm coming home soon. Say I love you to the moon. And back. Absolute banger. I love you to the moon. Take you in right out of this world. Say I love you to the moon. You're always gonna be my girl. It don't matter where I'm at. Stuck to you like story ads. And coming home, now you got it stuck in my head. Now I'm coming home soon. I love you to the moon. And back. Say I love you to the moon. You know, right out of this world, say I love you to the moon. You're always gonna be my girl. It don't matter where I'm at, I'm stuck to you like story yet. See, I'm coming home soon. I love you to the moon and back. Great, great song. Say I love you to the moon. Take you around. I'm not even finished yet, guys. I've got a couple more rounds with that. <laughs> Sorry, Baytown Tex is where, how are you today? Um, <laughs> thank you very much, appreciate that. Um, Baytown, Texas. Where's Kit Moore from, actually? Is he from, I forget, I've got no idea where he's from. But, uh, yeah. Kit Moore fan, right here. What a champion. That's the song I really used to like was uh, the one I'm to blame. That's a banger. Kip Moore's just out there running banger after banger. That's all he's doing. That was a cool hat. Did, I, did someone put a hat on me? That's pretty funny. Sorry if I missed it. <laughs> Kip Moore is Georgia. I can see that. I can see that actually. Of course he's from Georgia. Say I love you to the moon. Take you in right out of this world. Say I love you to the moon. You're always gonna be my girl. It don't matter where I'm at. I'm stuck to you like a story at. Say I'm coming home soon. I love you to the moon and back. Boom, 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 boom. Matt, new word to add to my American vocab. That's a banger. 
yeah, so that's a banger. Is I guess is that a Kiwi too? It's a two. Um, I say that one here a lot. It's a banger. Yeah, and I think maybe it's an English term. Who knows? I forget these things. Doesn't matter. It's a saying. Use it if you like it. It's all yours. Have it. Oh, I missed that one. Hello from Thailand. Welcome. Um, hey, thank. I've got to go, but have it. Oh, thank you, Johnny. Appreciate that. And I appreciate you popping in to give me a birthday cake. That's hilarious. Thank you very much. Um, look after yourself there in Ireland. And uh, yeah, I turn. 30 tomorrow at 11.30, so very exciting. No, no, not just yet. It's the 12th of January, and so it's 11.30 p.m. tomorrow. Bang, turning 30. Just curious, is the face the hardest part getting the details? No, the face is not the hardest part to paint. The hardest thing to do when you're dealing with faces is to not see them as faces. Focus on the entire painting all the details, all the colors, all the shapes, all the tones. If you see the face as just a seri bleh, series of shapes and tones, you'll have the ability to put it together as those shapes and tones. As soon as you start seeing eyes, mouths, noses, and ears, you're gonna start painting what you think you should see and not what you actually see. And that's when you fall into this risky area. Sorry, I missed that comment there. Um, New Zealand is called kiwi, that's our native bird it is, and also kiwi fruit is named after that bird. So kiwi is just a great term here in New Zealand for all the things. Thank you very much guys, appreciate all the birthday wishes. We're going to rock it into my 30s. Cannot wait, cannot wait. Say I love you to the moon, take you and ride out of this world. Say I love you to the moon. You're always gonna be my girl. It don't matter where I'm at. I'm stuck to you like a story at. Yep, so, and if you do wanna wish happy birthday wishes to guys on the day that I fail to get onto TikTok because the Wi-Fi might not be good enough, um, you can leave on Instagram, or if you like the artwork and all the rest of it, you can leave on Instagram in the bio, and there's YouTube there, and there's the website with a contact page, and all the things, so. Do kiwi birds eat kiwi fruit? Um, look, I think they might, but they eat grubs mainly. They're low in the forest floor, they hang out, they consume little bits here and there. Um, I've never, I have seen kiwi birds before, but I've never seen one in the wild. It's never happened to me before. So, they do exist, but they're pretty rare in New Zealand. Um, we do our best to conserve them because we want them to survive. We want to have them around. We've got islands that we grow them, sanctuaries for them, tons of enclosures. We love our kiwi birds, but uh, the proliferation of pests in New Zealand, I say pests, but like uh, stoats, cats, dogs, these things make it quite tough. The destruction of natural habitats, these things make it quite tough for kiwi birds to thrush, flourish. Can we get a close up of the painting when you're done? Of course you can. In fact, you can have one right now. So, like I talk about guys, we start off with abstraction. We move into realism. From your point of view where you're sitting, you'll be able to see these characters starting to come to form, but when you come up close to it, you're gonna see messy brush strokes being messy brush strokes. And that's really important. So, let's do that together. Come here. Up we come. If I move you around to here, all right, there's it from the front on. And then if we come in, you're gonna start seeing that actually it's layered, but it's very, very messy. Um, you'll see that there's actually depth between the paints. That's the liquid glass. But we are looking at many, many layers and a lot of mess, a lot of mess. So that's what we're up to. Lots of colors in the background, but again, mess, mess on mess on mess. That's what you want. So when we pull on back again, we see the picture come together. And that chopping and changing is what we're after, that difference between the two. Um, hi from Cyprus. What is Cyprus? Um, 
You're going to get a kiwi bird. They're endangered. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jason. Appreciate that. Um, sorry, just going to grab some. I love you to the moon. Take you in a ride out of this world. Say I love you to the moon. You're always going to be my girl. It don't matter where I'm at. I'm stuck to you like a story at. Um, you're more than welcome, Jason. Thank you so much. Um, now, 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 now. What? I think I chose the only empty one out of the whole area. It's all right. I did. Pretty much empty. Oh, well. We'll make do with what we got. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Multi-layers, it looks... Yeah, so if you're going to paint messy too, building up lots of layers and depth makes mess quite fun. Because if a little bit of mess is fun, layers of mess is just as fun. Um, I've heard kiwis lay giant eggs. They do. So the eggs are like this big, and their bodies are like this big. It's gigantic. Um, kiwis' eggs are about the same size as ostrich eggs. I'm not sure which one's bigger. But kiwis lay giant eggs. And kiwis are very small. They're like the size of a chicken-ish. Somewhere around that vicinity. So, yeah. Um, uh, kiwi eggs. Kiwi eggs are the humongous things. They lay giant eggs. You can find them into papa. In fact, if you are coming to visit New Zealand, a great place to go, that just popped into my head, is Te Papa. Go to Te Papa Museum. You'll love it. It's a great museum. There's lots of things like moa bird skeletons, which are giant birds that used to hang around New Zealand. You'll find kiwi birds. You'll find eggs, all the things. One o'clock. So, it's one o'clock now. I'll need to dash in the near-ish future. Not right away, but near. Near-ish future. I made you a cake for your birthday. Thank you very much, Cheeky Monkey. I appreciate that. I'm not sure if I'll get to try it, but um, I love the gesture. You're incredible. Um, so you love you to the moon. Take you in and right out of this world. I'm adding a bit of the uh, transparent gel to this bit of acrylic. It's going to go down thick, but we want to be able to see through it just that little bit. Just that little bit. Just a teeny tiny little bit. There we go. There we go. Um, I went to Mount Cook a few months back and it was amazing. That's good to hear. That is good to hear. So you're a Kiwi and you did a little bit of traveling around Kiwi land. This is good. This is a good way to do it. All right, let me just add this on in here. Here we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Blending in all the right places here, guys. There we go. There we go. Have you been to Milford Sound? No, I haven't been to Milford Sound before. Oh, yes, I have actually. I've been there lots of times. So I'm not talking about. Um, I used to go there around New Year's time and hang out with. Uh, a family, they had a little batch there. It was absolutely surreal. Best place around. Not art related, but what is your favorite foods? Ooh, I'm pretty basic when it comes to food, guys. Pretty simple, pretty easy to please. Um, I like, what do I like the most? I like, um, I used to like nachos a lot, but now it gives me acid reflux. So I have less nachos. <laughs> um, but uh, I like chia seeds because they're so healthy and I like <clears throat> what else do I like mm, chia seeds um, what else is there out there um, oats like porridge like eggs I like steak. I've been eating less steak though, guys. Toning back on meat, eating more 
things like eggs, chia seeds, fish, love fresh fish. Fresh seafood is my favorite. Um, I'll just move you back a little bit, guys. Fresh seafood, um, oysters, mussels, crayfish, scallops. Love this stuff the most. This is the best. On a daily basis, I eat oats, chia seeds, and eggs, but uh, if I could choose whatever I wanted, I'd be just like, um, who's his name? Johnny Casanova, and have like 50 oysters every day. That would be my go-to. That would make me happy. Yeah. If I ever get rich and famous, guys, the only thing that will change is I'll just be smashing oysters while I do these lives. <laughs> just like, just throttling back oysters while I try and paint. That would be the dream. That would, that would complete me. Um, pretty bland seed diet. Yeah, pretty much. My diet is very bland, Matt. Um, so some grains, some seeds, fruit, a little cucumber. Cucumber's good. Um, but yeah, very boring diet. I like simple foods, plain like that. Let's keep it plain. Um, where in New Zealand are you based in? I'm based in the North Island. So there's a North Island and a South Island. I'm in the North Island and I paint in Auckland and the Bay of Plenty. So those are my two places. I moved between the two of them. Little time in Auckland, little time in Bay of Plenty. I now live with Shelby up in Auckland, so a lot of the time I'm painting out of Auckland more than anywhere else, so that's a thing. Um, are eggs expensive there? No, they're pretty good. And our chickens are well looked after, so. So this is all things. <laughs> yeah, I love you to the moon. Take you in a ride out of this world. Yeah, I love you to the moon. You're always gonna be my girl. You don't matter where I'm at. Stuck to you like story yet. See, I'm coming home soon. Love you to the moon and back. Hello, Milo. Welcome. Milo is a very famous New Zealand drink. Um, also, guys, if you are enjoying watching painting happen, you can get more on the uh, bio, Instagram, TikTok, all the things. We're going to swap to a smaller brush now to capture some of that smaller detail. But which one would it be? This one. There we go. It don't matter where I'm at. Stuck to you like a story, yeah. See, I'm coming home soon. How long have I been painting for? Ever since I was a little tacker. Non-stop. So, well, I stopped to have lunch and dinner and sleep and go on holidays and all those things. So, hardly non-stop at all, actually. I've been painting since I was young, guys. But that doesn't mean that you can't start painting, regardless of what age you are. You can do whatever you want. Painting's like singing and dancing. If you've heard me say it before, you're gonna hear me say it again. It's really good to do it. Even if you don't feel like you're slick at it, it's got less to do with how you look or what you make and more to do with the action of just doing it. Don't want to sing in front of people? That's okay. Sing in the shower. But sing. You should definitely sing. It looks heaps glossy. It is heaps glossy. It is heaps glossy. It's uh, one of the qualities of this painting. Indeed. I do like a bit of gloss in the painting. A couple of ways to get it. The easiest way is to get a coat of gloss gel. If you want to, you can use epoxies. But uh, gloss gel tends to do the trick. There's a thin little layer. Because epoxies have a lot of chemicals in them, so they can't be challenging 
especially when you're starting out to use those. But the usual little gloss from the supermarket, not from the supermarket, from the local art store, not the gloss varnish, but the gloss um, texture will work just fine for you. We love Aotearoa. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I like the addition of showing the real picture. So much more colour in the back. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm glad. Um, yeah, I, someone asked for that. I forget. I think it was Jason. But um, yeah. Do you put liquid glass on all your works? No. So I put liquid glass on a few of them. Um, it depends. If I need to reset the texture, I'll do that. I've been moving into doing it with more with uh, the gloss gel. So using a lot of acry acrylic gloss gels. The reason for that is they dry faster and don't leave fumes everywhere. So you can get more done faster as well. Um, yeah. But epoxies are okay. Epoxies are... They're interesting to play with, but um, yeah. Um, sometimes epoxies can, when they're, well not sometimes, they do just colour in the sun. And so, take that into account when you're making your art. How are you today? I liked, oh, thank you very much, Evan Delson. Appreciate that. And favourite headphones or earbuds that you rep? That's a good question. I wear Aftershocks, these things, most of the time for working out so I can hear what's happening around me because they sit uh, in front of your ears on your temples. So I got them for running and then I blew out my knee and so I couldn't run anymore. So I wear them at the gym sometimes when I go, but I haven't been to the gym for weeks because I left my key card at Shelby's. Idiot. Funny story. Um, I saw one of your vids doing liquid glass and it looked like a pain to do. Yeah, a little bit. Um, it gives off a lot of fumes. That's the dangerous thing about it. So you need the right PPE, safety gear, look after yourself. Um, yeah. So there's all those factors that come into it. Doing a new painting every day. Thank you very much, King Ryan. Appreciate you. Thanks for joining in. Hope you're looking after yourself. Take you in and right out of this world. Say I love you to the moon. So you're always gonna be my girl. It don't matter where I'm at. Stuck to you like a story at. So you're coming home soon. I love you to the moon and back. Have you ever painted using a VR headset? It's very realistic. Yes, I have painted using a VR headset. Um, I like the primal act though actually applying the paint myself. Now I know it's not for everyone, but the mixing of the paint and the application of it, almost in a caveman sense, I like that raw nature. I like how it's connect. You know, I just, I like that. Um, I know some people prefer to use the VR headset and I get that. But for me, am I old school? Eh, I just like primal. I like how this is yeah, I like getting this, the paint in its wet, thick form and putting it on a paint tray and mixing it myself and then applying it to the canvas in a caveman sense. Yeah, very much so. And then on this 2D surface, using a tool. This is primal in itself. But yeah, I mean, you hold sticks and things, but you don't have a physical craftsman's tool, which is fascinating as well. How wild is that? Like, it's... Uh, it's, it's all the things. You want to win a painting? Well, let me catch up on these commissions. Because we did talk about doing some uh, raffles and things, which could be pretty fun. But let me catch up. I gotta catch up. How long one screen like this? Do you paint one screen like this? Hmm... We chop and change, guys, so it depends at the moment. Do you mean like one set? Anywhere between an hour to six hours? But in terms of painting a... In terms of painting a picture, this will be about seven to 15 hours on this one. I think we're on about eight or nine at the moment. 
but I'd need to actually check it. It's all it's all done live, so you can always yeah. You'd be like, hey, he told me he was going to paint for 13 hours. And you look back on the live and count it all up. It's like, wait a minute, Sebastian. You fall short. Going to head off and get some dinner. See you later. Thank you so much, Victoria. Appreciate you to no end. Enjoy your dinner. Um, and thanks for spending my birthday eve with me. You're the best. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Um, I would love to visit New Zealand. New Zealand's a lovely place to visit. Um, New Zealand has everything. Except for giant cities. I mean, I suppose Auckland's a giant city. We've got the coast. We've got the inland. We've got the coffee. A little bit of an art scene. Got some theatre. Got all the things. All the things. Happy birthday as well. Thanks, Victoria. Appreciate you. Oi! Had to bond with your new baby. Congratulations, Cole. Um, and yeah, that's all good. Good to have you back. Does New Zealand have spiders? That's a cool thing about New Zealand. We hardly have any threats. So there's no spiders. We are spiders, but no serious and poisonous spiders. There's no snakes. There's no bears. There's no wolves. There's no coyotes. There's no tigers. There's really nothing to hurt you. Just fun. Little animals. Cowboy trucker. Combined live. Um, I have never seen cowboy trucker. But sounds like a great dude. Come visit Brazil. Brazil would be cool. I'd like to visit Brazil. One day. One day in the future. It's time. Uh, 11 11. It's going to push you back a little bit here, guys. How has Lucy been? I'm not sure. She's been gone for a while. One second. Say I love you to the moon. Take you around out of this world. Say I love you to the moon. You're always gonna be my girl. It don't matter where I'm at. Stuck to you like a story, yeah. Say I'm coming home soon. I love you to the moon and back. So you love you to the moon. Take you in a ride out of this world. So you love you to the moon. You're always gonna be my girl. Thank you, Leonardo. Appreciate you. Um, have you ever been to Norway? 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 I have not been to Norway. But I hear lots of good things. People have sent me shots of, that, shots of the scenery over there and things. And I... That looks incredible. Brazil, Norway, all the places. I've spent most of my visits to US. I love the US. I love all the states over there. Um, and I've been to, where else have I been? Um, been to, 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 where's the other place? Indonesia, Asia, Cambodia, Laos, New Caledonia, Rarotonga. Love the show actually. Um, bye, Seb. Gonna grab some food. Taj, I will see you later. Thanks for joining. You're an absolute champion. Here in Brazil, it's 30 degrees. Well, it's 30 degrees in Brazil. I'm turning 30 in 24 hours, so 
Oh my god, is it that close now? One o'clock. No, 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 we're still good. We're still good. We've got like 30 hours. And then the hammer will crash down on Seb's 20s. How exciting. I see mountains. You do, you do. So there's a little few over here and one little one over here. Um, and so we'll keep building those up. See where they get to. Um, if you do want to catch more art, guys, if you're enjoying hanging out with the art, you can see more at Instagram in the bio. YouTube in the bio, website in the bio, contact me page on the website. If you contact via Instagram, there's no bad way to reach out if you're looking for a commission. This is a commission piece. I can do a commission piece for you as well if you've already got in touch. But I haven't you haven't heard back from me yet, I'm so sorry. I will be in touch with you. I'm just a little bit behind, but I'll catch up, I promise you that. And we'll get you sorted. Taking a ride out of this world, so you're looking to the moon. You're always going to be my girl. You don't matter where I'm at. Stuck to you like a story, yeah. So I'm coming home soon. I love you to the moon and back. Um, you met Brazil. What you meant about my country? I've never been to Brazil before. I've been to Europe, South. Have been to South America? My southern I've been is oh no, I've been to Mexico twice actually. But that's was, that's the best I've done. Mexico, I did Cancun on one trip, just Cancun. And I did uh, Mexico City on the other. Just Mexico City. To the moon, take you right out of this world. Say I love you to the moon. You're always gonna be my girl. It don't matter where I'm at. I'm stuck to you like a story. Yeah. This image depicts people of which nationality? Um, I think they are New Zealand, European slash Maori. I think, but I'm not fully sure. Um. What's that say there? You should check out Comen Cozumel. Cozumel, a little island off of Mexico. That sounds like fun. I'm into new little islands off the coast of places. I love the Gillies in Indonesia. Gilly Takawana. Gilly Air. Gilly is my favorite. And Gilly, I forget what the other one's called. Gilly Air is my favorite. It's the in-between one. One's a party island, one's a honeymoon island, and one of them is a in-between. It don't matter where I'm at, stuck to you like a story at. Coming home soon. Da -da 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 -da. Dum -dum. You should come and paint in the mountains. Cobb, that is a great idea. I would love to go paint in the mountains. We paint on the beach. We paint on the... There's some painting here in the mountains, actually. The only trouble is getting in and out. So, if you're gonna paint somewhere abstract or strange, you gotta find your way of getting to the location with a canvas and then getting out with a wet canvas. And sometimes, Sometimes these challenges can be quite insurmountable, depending on the day. Um, getting in there with a dry canvas is quite easy. Getting out there with a wet canvas that you're trying to protect, now we've got this added challenge. But, always doable. 
always doable. Say I love you to the moon, take you in a ride out of this world. Say I love you to the moon, you're always going to be my girl. It don't matter where I'm at, I'm stuck to you like a story act. See, I'm coming home soon. I love you to the moon and back. Take you in a ride out of this world. Say, I love you to the moon. You're always going to be my girl. It don't matter where I'm at. I'm stuck to you like a story yet. Oh, thank you very much, Leonardo. Appreciate you. Hopefully there's signal in the mountains. Yeah, because honestly, if I get to someone with no signal and I know it, I make a reel instead. But um, I think hanging out live and being able to watch it come together in a candid form, nothing's staged, everything's wholesome, everything's relaxed and fun. I think that's the best way to make art. And so typically it's good to find places with a bit of reception, I reckon. Stuck together like a story, yeah. Say I'm coming home soon. Love you to the moon and back. Da 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 da. Are we back? Can you hear me? Yes, you can hear me. Perfect. Um, right, couple of things. Oh, hello, yummy bow. Welcome back. Um, right, so first things first. Um, the song was Love You To The Moon by Kip Moore. I get that stuck in my head, sorry. And the second thing is I've got to dash off to uh, Rotorua. Because in Rotorua, um, my friend Dale, who I was yarning about at the start of the stream, has just finished his air appointment, he was getting his ears checked, and he's ready to check out these paintings. So, I need to dash off with him, he's gonna get them framed, the box has arrived tonight, and I'm really excited. So, there we have it. Anyway guys, all the best, it's been fantastic hanging out with you, thanks for all the lovely birthday wishes, you're all fantastic, um, and I really hope you have a great day, or a great night, wherever you are in the world, with a bit of luck. I'll either be back tonight or tomorrow morning. Tonight may be interesting though, because Shelby's coming back and I haven't seen her in a while and I've got a few people coming over for dinner and stuff, so I might get caught up. So maybe not tonight, maybe tomorrow morning with some luck. Um, yeah, be cool to hang out on my birthday with everyone and do some fun painting. Other than that, look after yourselves guys. Um, See you next time. All the best. Bye.